We're now going to take a look at the components of a U uniform resource locator, or otherwise known as a URL. Basically, this is a specific line of characters that direct us to resources on the internet. So it's comprised of a few different parts. So let's take a look at the school website. The first thing we have is the hypertext transfer protocol. And this is the protocol that governs the rules for transfer of data on the internet. All websites start with either HTTP or HTTPS if it's a secure line. The next part is the WWW, which stands for World Wide Web. This indicates that the resource is a web page. We have the domain name next, which is different for every website on the internet, and it's the specific web address for that internet site. The domain name is also combined with the top level domain or the extension, which indicates the type of site. This could be, in this case, edu, which means educational, or commercial.com, or .gov for government. There's a whole range of different extensions for domains. A geographical domain shows where the site is from. So .au shows it's an Australian website, but there's also .ca for Canada, or .gr for Greece, and they outline what country their website originates from. Now, once we go to this website, we then obviously go to other pages on the website. The way we do that is by going to sub-pages, and this is by clicking on buttons or resources. Another directory path will appear, showing that we're going to sub-pages within that site, and this is how we access specific resources. So I hope you have a good idea about the different components of URLs.